Once we've traced vessels and have actually noticed something that looks like a filling defect, what we have right here, right now, I think it's important to always check yourself and make sure that what you're seeing is actually likely to be a pulmonary embolism. Initially, to be very kind of to break things down very clearly, we're looking for filling defects. However, not every filling defect is a pulmonary embolism. It can be uh, changes in flow dynamics. It can be technical from streak artifact. So it's very important to not just assume because you see something that looks like a filling defect that it's automatically a PE. A few things that you can do to help you make that determination. Uh, one is just kind of scroll back and forth and kind of get a sense for kind of the shape and the other characteristics of what we're seeing. This looks very convincing also because it looks like it's kind of coming back here and filling other pulmonary arterial branches. Um, so that can kind of help you a little bit there as well too. But one thing that I would also encourage people to do is to actually, um, you can even zoom in a little bit here um, and then take a measurement of the density. You want to keep in mind that it may be difficult to accurately measure the density of what you're looking at um, because it's so small. However, generally speaking, um, things that are going to be like 50 to 60 Hounsfield units and less uh, are more convincing for something like uh, PE versus, um, and you can see this one's kind of close to 41. So that, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, convincing that this is thrombus um, or em embolus rather. If you have changes in flow dynamics where something seems like a filling defect, but it's just that there's less contrast there, contrast is pretty dense. So it's oftentimes gonna be a higher density. So that can be very, very helpful with regards to making the determination, um, is this a PE or not? Um, looking at kind of the characteristic of what it looks like, um, and then also uh, measuring its actual density is very, very helpful. Now uh, here, what we can do is kind of co-localize and go back um, and kind of also get a sense of the PE burden um, with our triangulation here, and, and we can see that uh, we have thrombus going into these branches that are going to the right upper lobe. Um, and, and what we can do too is with our, our co-localization, we can see a little bit of the anatomy here and get a sense of, well, you know, wh where do we want to say that this thrombus is? So it looks like, you know, this is our right main. This actually looks like the lobar artery to the right upper lobe and these are segmental branches. So I think this was called segmental and subsegmental PE of uh, branches going to the right upper lobe.